All right. Have you heard how a drink a day could keep the doctor away? Well, now new research seems to be proving that. Experts saying that drinking the right amount could prevent a stroke, but drinking too much could trigger one. Uh oh, joining us now, Dr. Ernest Patty. He's here, senior attending physician of emergency at of medicine at St. Barnabas Hospital. And Dr. Patty, you know, Thanks, hi, Rafael. first of all, and happy, Thanksgiving. happy Thanksgiving. Good to Thanksgiving see you. you. While Thanks we're talking me. about this, anybody who is watching, they're probably, well, I shouldn't say probably, many people are drinking. So if they are drinking, partaking, how much is too much, Dr. Patty? Well, the exciting news was they, they discovered that if you had one to two drinks a day, it decreased your risk for ischemic stroke, which is a big problem in the United United States. Uh, the problem is though, so don't rush right to the bottle uh -huh. because if you drink three or four more, more than four glasses a day, now you actually flip it the other way and increase your risk for stroke. Okay, I'm not a doctor, but I'm going to guess, and, and does it have something to do with constricting the blood vessels? What they really think it has to do with is affecting a, a protein in your blood called fibrinogen, fibrinogen. which, which f helps form blood clots. And so their, their theory is that this uh, small amounts of alcohol will decrease that accumulation of fibrinogen. The problem is, you know, if you don't drink already, I wouldn't rush to start drinking every mm -hmm. day because you still need to do more research on this. You know, the jury's still out as if this is going to be a long-term effect. So just to recap, so if you drink... What's okay to drink? How much? They is said okay one to, drink? to two drinks a day. A day. A day. And we're talking. Does it matter if it's wine or whiskey? You they, know, one they weren't. Has more... They weren't specific. They yeah. said one to two alcoholic drinks. Uh, okay. You know, you also get the benefits from wine, red wine. You know, for cardiovascular health. So I'm assuming sure. that wine would probably uh, be a good first choice. But Dr. Patty, I mean, of course, you know, we're talking about this because this is the how we start, you kick off the holidays, and you know, some people, not everyone, like to to have a glass of wine or two. Um, but in terms of trying to prevent strokes, I, I would imagine that factors such as pre-existing medical conditions, your family history, the DNA, uh, your age, the part of the country you live in, and also your baseline stress level. All sure. that would come into play. Well, okay. your baseline stress level. Also, what type of health are you in? You know, yeah. stroke is a big problem in the United States, and it's coupled very tightly with hypertension and, uh, and poor cardiovascular health. So obviously, other things are going to decrease your risk for stroke, such as exercise, proper diet, proper sleep, uh, you know, decreasing your stress level at work. All those things come into play. The exciting thing with this, though, was they were uh, under the assumption that alcohol was not such a good thing for you. But in this limited study, it showed that one to two drinks would decrease stroke risk. The problem is people who then run and, and say, well, if two are good for me, I'm going to do four. The converse was four or more actually flipped it the other way and increased your risk severely for uh, embolic strokes and uh, also for hemorrhagic stroke tremendously. So you have to be careful with the research and how you interpret it. I'm glad you repeated that because I was going to ask you again because, you know, people are home, everybody's busy, sort of cooking, half listening, sure. and people are, you know, say, taking a sip of the sherry or whatever they're cooking with. <laughs> I'm just assuming here. I mean, one I can, for me, I can one make for the assumptions turkey. on this particular story, but again, the takeaway is two, two drinks a day is okay. More than that, what happens? More than that, it increases your risk of, of having a stroke, both hemorrhagic uh, and or uh, thromboembolic strokes. And either way, a stroke is not good for either the body Either way, at they're all. both bad. Okay. So exercise, everything in moderation like we always talk about, yeah. you know, and enjoy a, a family day with your loved ones today. Dr. Ernest Patty, happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for bringing your beautiful niece, did you say? Niece, Gianna, yes, Gorgeous. she's here with Hi, me. Gorgeous. Hi, Gianna. <laughs> thank you so much. All right, thank you.